Hello. Today is the 11th of March 2024 and I'm going to change a little bit what I do. You know that normally carrying the uh, weight of the world on my shoulders as I feel sometimes and I'm sure you do too about what is happening. I uh, you know, I, I read to you things from Dostoevsky and the speeches of uh, Cicero and things like that. Well, sometimes this is a little bit too, mu too much. And um, I thought of doing something completely different and introducing you to a French um, satirist. I came across his name and I decided to listen to him because, because of his name. His name sounded to me uh, very much a Spanish name. His name, I will, I will give you, I will put his name and the, um, the two videos that you, can, that you can watch down in the description below, okay? So uh, this is, uh, I'm just introducing him to you, uh, but these are not, what I'm going to say from now on is not, is not my words. I don't want to plagiarize any, anybody's work, okay? But um, his name is Xavier Louis de Izarra. I thought that, okay, a satirist uh, from Spain, but no, the, the, uh, the, the surname is Spanish, but he's very much, very, very much French indeed. And uh, I didn't know of him, but it um, it seems as if he has like 300 videos on YouTube and um, you can easily access them um, and just put the auto translate um, if you're interested. He uses the French language beautifully because the French language anyways is, uh, is, is, is rather good for irony and ridicule. And, uh, and he says, look, um, my videos are designed for uh, especially teachers and sociologists who might want to evaluate the difference in intelligence between beautiful minds, he says, and those with intelligence in the brain of, a, uh, of an endive or a turnip or a, <laughs> or a pepper. So, Anyway, so this is work. I uh, I just uh, tell you a little bit about two of his videos, and one is about a dream, a terrible dream, weird dream he has. He he had uh, about a, um, about a dictator, a dictator, um, some uh, something that happened I in a country whose president was always dressed in pink, 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 you know, from, from the shoes and the socks and everything was pink. Except, he says, perhaps his underwear, perhaps uh, his underwear was not actually pink. It was sort of yellow, yellowish, sort of, um, uh, you know, urine-like uh, sort of yellowish, but everything else was pink, 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 okay? And he says, in, in my dream, um, suddenly, brutally almost, this irresponsible president decided to go to war, attack uh, a country about 30 times larger than his own. Um, a country where the inhabitants of which are huge, big, frightening black bears and um, with thousands of nuclear weapons. And uh, in his dream, he, th he thought, um, how can it be? Why, yeah, you know, th th the country was so small, this pink dictator uh, uh, country, so small, he says, uh, you know, it was about the, the size of France, as big as France, not as smaller than France, sort of kind of more or less the same size, okay. And the uh, people there were peaceful people in any case. Um, and he didn't understand in the dream, it was like a nightmare, because if they went to war, the two countries, it would be an absolute carnage. He didn't understand. He said it was, it was really terrifying. But the most amazing thing is that the people did not react. The people in this sort of smaller country would just go about 
with with uh, you know looking as if you know looking at the void just millions and millions of them like that walking slowly um their gaze their gaze was as muddy as a calf admiring the mona lisa you know it did nothing made sense here as if they were anesthetized you know as if as if they had been i don't know um drugged you know with a with a uh, with a toxic product that had been injected into them you know sort of a couple of years earlier something like that you know it was most amazing and their bodies were soft and and, uh, and sticky and milky like larva and um, no brains you know they should all have he said i couldn't understand it they they should all, all really have rebelled against this pink dictator in short pants um but no they 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 didn't um so it was really weird um um also most amazing you know this 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 pink dictator in short pants um he he sort of sniffed a uh, sort of a white flower um you know from morning till night kind of thing weird um he's he had been elected through cheating you know it's not just one country or another country yeah, you know they, this happens in, in quite a few countries now so you know um most amazing of all is that he didn't even have any mistresses which is kind of suspicious for a president of a republic really if you think about it um but nevertheless nevertheless he 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 sort of blossomed in the in the arms of of uh, of other lovers uh, whom he had put in key positions in the government in his government and uh, and another amazing thing is that uh, his wife had been an old gentleman uh, transformed into a woman uh, that, that you know it didn't make sense so of course they they didn't have children or anything obviously you know so um in the dream also it was uh, you know it was frightening really because in the dream actually this pink dictator he he he, he actually was a foreign infiltrator you know a sort of a spy and uh, th- who worked for a for a for an occult financial power you know um so against his country yeah yeah an incredible thing um so he said i had a terrible terrible feeling of helplessness about it all and i shouted to everybody come on we cannot really go to war against this huge huge bear is frightening you know but um nothing happened so um it seems to me that uh, i don't know this dictator in short pants had lost his mind um but uh no instead of that these the poor inhabitants of of this republic uh behave like like uh like sheep being led to the slaughter they behave like 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 zombies you know as if as if uh, you know these people as if they had been macronized or sunaknized or or uh, bidenized you know uh, very weird Anyway, so that was his dream, but it was okay. It was only a dream and nightmare, really. But um, you know, then his his wife woke him up. No, 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 because he he was sweating and everything, shouting, you know. But uh, no, his wife came. No, no, no. It's only a dream, my dear. It's only a dream. Oh goodness gracious! All right, you know. So, um, so that was a terrible dream he had, and uh, then he speaks uh, in another another one in another video he he tells us about what he thinks is going to happen in this most important of tournaments of of or competitions you know the miss world competition for example terribly important so he says that probably in 2025 okay um miss france 
you know, will have a calf's head. Yeah, calf, you know, C-A-L-F, head. Um, how can this be? Well, no, you know, we are going in that direction, really. I mean, um, she will perhaps be a fairly pretty mother otherwise, you know, um, probably over 50 years old, you know. Um, she says, well, in, in the case of Miss France, for example, she will probably be Asian, Asian, um, probably Congolese Asian, with uh, white skin and very round eyes. Um, probably trans too, you know. Um, and her body will be that of, uh, quite possible, that of the of, uh, reptilian, uh, equipped with a Mickey Mouse tail coming out of her ears. Now, you probably think, oh, that is, that is extreme, that is nonsense. But, you know, you have to understand that today the aim of these uh, Miss competitions um, is to break the mold, to break the code, to... Um, Christian code, especially if you can, you know, um, the the purpose of all this is to annoy, to annoy the 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 normies, you know, those um, a lot of people, you know, the rest of us perhaps were, you know, because we are considered um, the normies. That is, uh, they are considered a sort of um, fascist and racist and anti-Semites and f uh, you know, fat phobe and homophobe and fo 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 la 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 all all the foes that you can think of okay so he says you know i i fully expect for example miss germany to be 39 years old with two children and uh, miss portugal to be trans no problem and uh, miss france to be skinny um perhaps too skinny for us uh, normies, fascists, anti-Semites, phobes. Um, Miss Japan will probably um, have been born of two, two Ukrainian parents, okay? So, uh, uh, as you can see, the codes are being broken, completely broken, and, and that's actually very, very good if you think about it. Yeah, because... Um, in that way, uh, you know, we can go um, further, much, much, much further than we are used to, okay? Just to annoy and piss off those uh, fascists and all those terrible people. So, it's official, okay? Everyone, everyone, and I mean everyone, will be able to claim the title or to at least compete, okay, for the title of Miss. Okay, um, and especially if you're a minority um, or if you're trans or, you know, or very, very old married ladies, um, over 90, that, that'll be fine, as well as people with, you know, reduced uh, mobility or very short of stature like me, for example, I have, I have a chance there. So, um, because... You see, the thing is that we must say no to discrimination. Okay, that's the most important thing. So, uh, to recap, Miss France or Miss UK or Miss America, okay, she will be, let's say, 97 years old. Um, okay, she will have wrinkles, but beauty wrinkles, you know, because wrinkles can be very beautiful too, you know. So, and the, the, the main important, the, the most important thing is to say no to discrimination of gender, okay? So, a man should be able to enter the competition for the most beautiful woman in France or in the UK or in, in, in America. I think it's only fair, okay? So, there you have uh, Miss Portugal is, is, is trans. Well, so, um, okay, so, for example, if you are a man you know, with your fair dose of testosterone, whatever. You're just a regular man, ordinary man, okay? Tough, strong, erect, you know, all that. So, um, don't worry because um, 
well, if you, even if you are um, non transformed into into something else, okay, um, by any kind of surgery or anything like that, perhaps you're not even vaccinated. Oh, God forbid! But you know, um, well. Never mind about that. You know very well that now you can very well end up being Miss France. Okay, so um, I'm sure that you will be moved uh, to to know that this this is official. Okay, so Viva la Repubblica and uh, and Viva Progressivism. Okay, because we must not really discriminate against anybody. Okay. Um, if you're overweight, if you're this, that, no, that's that's terrible. You know, also um, immigrants, uh, for example, who, um, if you think about it, I mean, come on, they they uh, you know they 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 come in um, by the thousands, they cross seas and uh, walk kilometers, and you know, with their wives and children, women and children, and uh, they do that on a makeshift boat and um, and some of them are drowned and this is not laughing matter because uh, you know we treat it uh, with a sort of a general indifference and that's really bad so so this this migrant uh, men can also um, uh, you know be elected uh, Miss France uh, you know they they deserve it I mean poor poor guys you know so think about this it costs us absolutely nothing to grant these most prestigious of, of prizes okay of titles um, uh, and the you know they these these uh, migrant men could very well become um, uh, be the most beautiful woman in France and you too uh, you know if you're a man watching so um, and widows and widowers, not necessarily because their spouses have passed, but, uh, you know, perhaps they were left on Christmas Day or St. Valentine's Day and um, now they're depressed and so on. Well, they, they can also claim a, a title to, to, to Miss France. In other words, Miss, the title of Miss should be awarded to any man or women and uh, you know it doesn't have to be from that country it can be any foreigner too and and also most importantly whether you're beautiful or not okay you can even award it to all feminists you know who perhaps um, uh, perhaps who have not been too greatly spoiled by by nature you know so um, that would show humanism you know uh, oh yes and of course the uh, 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 the vegans yes so um, you know I defend the the uh, the cause of, of animals and uh, I would like he says I, I you know uh, uh, this this gentleman Xavier Louis de Itarra, he says I, I, I absolutely absolutely defend the cause of animals, you know, and I would like animals to to be able to claim the title of Miss Miss France, Miss whatever, okay? Because uh, he's thinking especially of of dogs and pets, you know, because sometimes you know you go on holiday and you have to leave your pets behind, you know, in a kennel and a, and everything, and the dogs are unhappy when you do that, deeply unhappy. Uh, so uh, you know, let us let us make sure that um, dogs and and pets can also be elected Miss France, okay. Uh, and then of course, I mean, you don't have to stop with dogs. You can, you know, you have to think also of calves and, and sheep and, and chickens. Uh, you know, I mean, they're being taken to slaughterhouses to be cut up so that we can devour them in steaks with mustard and french fries and so on so he says i wish with all my heart just to piss all these other people off <laughs> that um the next miss france will have 
a calf's head, a zucchini body, and a lizard's tail. So my question to you is, and this is an important question, <clears throat> your uh, next France or next UK or next um, Miss America, uh, would you like it to be a who or a what? That's the main question for you to answer and to, to ponder. Okay. So, these are the thoughts of uh, Xavier Louis, Lu I keep mispronouncing his name, Xavier Louis de Izarra. And I will, uh, I hope you can look him up, because if nothing else, it will bring a smile to your face, or he may even annoy you, but at least you're alive. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you.